Hello, friends from around the world. My name is Hector. And my name is G. And we're here to talk to you about the collected edition new releases that are coming in November of 2022. Now, for those of you who don't know us, we are G and Hector, and we work for Penguin Random House, and we sell uh, books around the world, comic book stores and bookstores. And um, so the titles that we're talking about today include uh, imprints and publishers that we represent. And also, I need to mention that because there has been a lot of uh, delays and with printing issues and all of that, um, there are some titles that are you're going to see that were repeated from last previous months. Um, so don't worry, it's just that they, there's a lot of that happening nowadays all around the book industry. Uh, so let's get started. So we're going to start, G and I are going to go over uh, some of our personal picks, and then we'll go right into uh, the rest of the titles by publisher. And to start with, this is uh, one of my picks. This is Salamander, Salamandre, or Salamander. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, it's from Dark Horse Comics. It is written and illustrated by I. N. J. Colbart, and um, he is from the UK. He's a well-known uh, artist and writer from the UK. And this uh, new gra graphic novel, it talks about, uh, it's a world where art is, um, it's prohibited, it's illegal, and flowers also are illegal, and music, all kind of art and music. And the main character, Casper, discovers there's uh, this revolution, art revolutionaries, and they go against uh, the secret police, and there's espionage that has to do with flowers and and art. So it's a very cool concept, and I, I really can't wait to read this because it's, it's very different, but it also, I think, has a lot of space to apply it to real life now. And um, one of the things I did want to highlight also about this book, this is a trade paperback, twenty four ninety nine. I wanted to highlight that it, it it received a lot of love from a lot of big artists in, in the comic book industry. I'm just going to mention a couple, like uh, Ram V mentioned this um, uh, cover, Defiantly, Defi Defiantly tells the story of resilience and secret joys and complex pains, and in, so, in doing so, show us the human beings as are as much bigger on the inside that you might think. I love that quote. There's also quotes from uh, Christian Ward from Invisible Kingdom. There's also uh, quotes from Cliff Chang who compares uh, that sort of the atmosphere. It calls it Ghibli-esque. Um, and there's also, sorry, Cliff Chang from uh, Paper Girls. And then um, the, there's uh, also a lot of quotes from a lot of love like, like New York Times and everybody else. So this is a very highly sought out uh, graphic novel and I highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. And then next up is my pick. There we go. Uh, this is Love and War. This is written by Andrew Wheeler. Uh, so we're, we're shifting gears here and mm -hmm. I just, I, I just love the, the I just love this. <laughs> um, it's the main protagonist, Damo, is torn between two potential boyfriends. What a problem to have. <laughs> um, and as the title suggests, um, it's basically a the character being pulled in different directions with conflicting passions. And not only is Damo dealing with like the love issue, but also um, the the uh, Dama wants to lead a, a like a tug of war team, and so dealing with the struggles of that as well. Um, so what is interesting about this? It's a comicsology original. So what you're seeing being put out in trade paperback um, would be coming out in print for the first time here. So very cool. So if you're into like queer uh sports rom-com uh i'm all about that i hector knows <laughs> yeah. i've gone into uh that particular uh genre a lot so this is this is the pick for you as well 
I do I do want to comment that everything sounds very interesting to me, but the part that really caught my eye that I want to read about is I guess there's uh tug of war teams. So it's yeah. like competitive tug of war. I really want to read about it. <laughs> I had to look it up because I didn't realize that was a thing. That was a thing, yeah. That was a thing. <laughs> There's like amateur like tug of war uh, competitions out there. Awesome. And awesome. Now I'm intrigued by it. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay, so we continue. This is uh, one of my picks. There's actually going to be two picks in one. Um, this uh, book right here, well, this is The Fever of Ubicande by Benoit Peters and Francois Schutten. Uh, this is part of a series of uh, of graphic novels, of stories that were uh, created by these two uh, Belgian, um, you know, writer and artist combo. And they were uh, published back in the 80s and 90s um, and the original you know, language in black and white. And uh, they've been reprinted, they've been printed before in English, but now they're printed also in color with the approval and, uh, uh, by, of the artist. And if they take place, they're part of what is called the Obscure City series. And the Obscure Cities is uh, this world that they created where it's an alternate earth and the world is divided in these state cities, and each city has very different cultural, um, so the different cultures, but also very, very distinct and different architecture. And the stories sort of are around that, about the atmosphere of each country. Um, and uh, one note is that obscure, the word obscure obviously for us means like you don't know much about it, so it's obscure, but in French really has a more of a meaning of mysterious or hidden or, um, you know, so so it has more of that connotation to it. Now, this one in particular, the Fever of Vicande, is the story of this um, architect in, in the city, and he um, he has these plans for a bridge that he wants to do to unite this, you know, two parts of the city, south and north. And uh, when he goes to the city commission, they they deny his, um, you know, his proposal. And he is concerned because, you know, he wants to do it to help the city, so he to help the citizens of the city. So while this is happening, all of a sudden they bring in from from a construction, one of the constructions, they bring him this cube that suddenly showed up and it's what you see here on the cover but it's a, it, a, 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 at first it's very tiny he can put it on his desk and it's built out of these beams and as time goes by it keeps growing and growing and it he can't stop it and it keeps growing to the point where it gets as big as his office then it's big as the, the building and then as big as the city and at one point it becomes so big that one of the beams actually connects the south and north part of the city, which is what we wanted for the for <laughs> the bridge. So the commission is like trying to put a stop to it, but they can't even put a stop to it. So there's a lot of, you can tell there's a lot of uh, not just uh, political and social uh, sociology themes in this, but also a lot of, I think, very cool um, sort of satire in it too. Um, so that's the first one. And if we go to the next slide, then you can see the other one that we're published that's going to be published also at the same time in November, the Invisible Frontier. And this one is a uh, different characters, obviously. In, the, in this one, the main character, uh, Roland, who you see here on the cover, uh, he lives a very secluded life. He's like doesn't deal with um, uh, any much outside but all of a sudden he meets this woman and he's intrigued by her and he at some point obviously they start going out and all and then it, he realized that she might be in danger and there's people after her from the government and also he notices that she has this uh tattoo of a big map on her back and that she doesn't know what it is and then so they have to escape outside of the city and they have to cross you know uh it's just desert jungles mountains swamps all kinds of environments um and it, it, you know they have to run for their life and also sort of at the same time they kind of have to figure out what this map and what connection does this map have 
has with their world. Uh, so it's a very, very cool also story and all takes place in, in this world. And I hope that uh, Dark Horse, I mean, IDW, sorry, this is IDW, continues to publish some of these because there's a lot of them that were published back in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, next up, we have When Everything Turned Blue. This is um, uh, created by Alessandro Barciani. So this is a translated work. Um, so originally it was written in Italian and it will be translated again, um, it, it translated into English and printed uh, in a hardcover for the first time here. So this is interesting because it's about the story of this woman, Chiara, who lives her life out of fear with an undiagnosed illness and delves into denial and then disassociation because of that. And eventually, without revealing uh, too much about the story, is forced to make a decision that will change her life forever. And you follow her journey as you're reading through uh, this book here. And so highly recommended um, for you to check out as well. We're going to continue with the uh, rest of the list, starting with Marvel. Before we go to that, I do want to mention that some of the titles that we talked to uh, just now, if you go to edelweiss.plus, the website, there are images, interior images for them, and I highly recommend you go and check them out. Mm -hmm. So, and when you were going to say something. I was going to say, I'll be sure to link uh, Edelweiss in the description below so you could see at least the list of the titles um, that you'll see here in the presentation yes. on Edelweiss where you can see those interior images. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, let's continue. We're going to start with Marvel. We're going to go real quick through all of these. They're very, very, <laughs> they're, they're a lot, but um, bear with us. So mm -hmm. first of all, we're going to start with some of the omnibuses that are coming out in uh, November for Marvel. And we have Aliens, the original years, hard, uh, volume three hardcover. And we have a Pacheco cover uh, and uh, just a retail, regular retail one and a direct market one. Then we have Avengers versus X-Men omnibus by uh, Chung. Hardcover also, obviously. Captain America versus Wolverine cover, direct for the direct market. And then we have an Iron Man versus Magneto cover. Right. Continuing on, we have the best Marvel stories by Stanley Omnibus. So that's the main cover, but then we also have a DM cover as well. Conan the Bar Barbarian, the original Marvel Years Omnibus Volume 9, the Jim Lee main cover, and also we have the Higgins uh, DM cover. And we continue with uh, Heroes Reborn, America's Mightiest Heroes Omnibus. But we have a McGuinness cover and we have a Pacheco direct market cover. And then we have Invaders by, uh, we have a hardcover, uh, cane cover, direct market only. Uh, and then we have also a Kirby cover, also for direct market. And we have the main Robbins cover. Mm -hmm. Miles Morales, Spider-Man Omnibus, Volume 1, the Andrews main cover, and then the uh, Pacelli DM cover, the Spectacular Spider-Man Omnibus, Volume 1, the Buscema main cover, as well as the Cockrum uh, DM cover listed here. And then we have New Warriors Classic, Volume 2, with the Pace DM cover, and then we have also the main Robertson cover. And then we have the thing uh, with the Byrne cover and what's it's the main cover. And then we also have Wilson DM cover and Ultimates, uh, the Mylar and Hitch omnibus. Uh, we have a Hitch Ultimates cover and then we also have a, uh, sorry, Gatefold Derek Market cover. Continuing on, Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2, the Jim Lee main cover, uh, Byron DM cover, and we also have the Windsor Smith uh, DM cover. This is the uh, new printing uh, of the Omnibus uh, for Wolverine. Then we have X Factor, both uh, by Peter David, Volume 2 Omnibus. We have the Sook main cover and the Ramondi uh, DM cover. And we're moving on to the Marvel Masterworks. 
and in the month of November, we're getting Ghost Rider Volume 4. Um, we have two covers for that, a, a main and a DM. And we also have the Fantastic Four Volume 24, also two covers, regular and DM for that. And the uh, Tomb of Dracula Volume 2, and we also have two covers for that, main and DM. And then we have uh, Mighty Marvel Masterworks. So the first one listed here is Neymar, the uh, Submariner Volume 1. Uh, you'll see uh, the DM cover up top there. And then we have uh, the Romero cover uh, with, the, with the, the one listed below, uh, as you'll see. And we continue with Epic Collections and we have uh, Daredevil. It comes with the claw. These are all trade paperback, by the way. We also have Incredible Hulk, uh, Fall of the Pantheon. This is a new printing. Then we have Iron Fist, uh, The Fury of Iron Fist, also a new printing. And Power Man and Iron Fist, Hardball. And then continuing on, uh, we have the epic collections here. Iron Man epic collection, The Return of Stony Tony Stark. Star Wars Legends Epic Collection, The Rebellion Volume 5, Thor Epic Collection, Blood and Thunder, and then that's the main, or like we have that uh, collection. And then we also have Thor Epic Collection, the um, Thor War trade paperback here by uh, Tom De DeFalco. And continuing on, we have Daredevil by Chip Sudarsky to Heaven Through Hell Volume 3 in hardcover. Then we have Marvel uh, Fortnite X Marvel Zero War premiere hardcover. And we also have Marvel Studios Lucky, the art of the series hardcover coming just in, you know, just before we're getting a second season next year. So yeah. looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the trade paperbacks uh, that's coming out in November. So Amazing Spider-Man by Zeb Wells and John Romita Jr. Volume 2, the new Sinister trade paperback. Savage Spider-Man by Joe Kelly, Spider-Man 2099 uh, Exodus by Steve Orlando, Spider-Gwen, Gwenverse trade paperback by Tim Seeley, Spider-Gwen unmasked uh, graphic novel uh, by Jason Latour, Carnage Volume 1 in the Court of Crimson, this is by Ram V, Venom by Al Ewing and Ram V Volume 2 Deviation, and then uh, Venom Lethal Protector Heart of the Hunted by David Michelini. Excellent. We continue on with Black Panther by John Ridley, Volume 2, Range Wars. Captain Carter, Woman Out of Time by Jamie Mc McKelvey. Fantastic Four, Volume 11, Reckoning War, Part 2 by Dan Slott. Iron Fist, The Shattered Sword by Alisa Wong. Maestro, World War M by Peter David. Continue on with trades, uh, we have Star Wars, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Volume 1, The Crystal Run. This is by uh, Mark Gunheim. Star Wars, The Halcyon Legacy, Ethan Sachs. Star Wars, The Mandalorian, Season 1, Part 1, trade paperback. This is Rodney Barnes. Trials of X, Volume 2 by Al Ewing. X-Men Red by Al Ewing as well. Um, volume 1 that you'll see here coming out in November. X-Men First Class Road Trips, Jeff Parker. New Mutants by Vita Ayala, Volume 3, trade paperback, and then Wolverine Patch by Larry Hama. Lots of great trade paperbacks there. Yeah. Um, and we continue on with IDW. And for IDW on the month of November for, you know, collector issues, graphic novels, we only have The Rocketeer, The Complete Adventures Deluxe Edition by Dave Stevens. We also have FARM System or Farm System by Rich Kowalski, uh, Godzilla versus Mighty Morphin Power Rangers by Colin Bone and Freddie Williams too. This is a fun book, by the way. Uh, Usagi Jojimbo Crossroads by Stan Sakai, also an awesome book. Mm -hmm. And then going into Dark Horse, we're starting off with these like omnibus uh, editions. So we have the BPRD Omnibus Volume 2. Uh, these, this is in trade paperback by uh, Mike Magnolia. Plants vs. Zombies Zomnibus Volume 2. Uh, this is a hardcover written by Paul Tobin. 
And then we have these two Stranger Things om um, omnibus. So we have Stranger Things Omnibus Volume 1 by Jody Hauser, uh, trade paperback, and then Stranger Things After School Adventures Omnibus by Greg Pack and uh, Danny Lohr. I really love this, the word omnibus, by the way. Yes, um, <laughs> yeah, and we continue with Frank Miller's Sin City Volume 7, Hell and Back, the deluxe edition. This is obviously Frank Miller. And Invisible Kingdom, the library edition by the wonderful G. Willow Wilson. Uh, Kel Kepler, uh, written by David Duchovny. Yes, that David Duchovny. Uh, Madman Library Edition, Volume 3, written and illustrated by Michael Alred. And then we have Organisms from an Ancient Chaos, written by S. Craig Seller. Mm -hmm. And then next up, we have hardcovers. So the Orville Library Edition Volume 1 by uh, David A. Goodman. Star Wars Tales from the Rancor Pit uh, from Lucasfilms. We have Tales from Harrow County Library Edition by Colin Bunn. And the World of Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 4 written by Jeff Lemire. And then we move on to trade paperbacks. And we have 40 Seconds written by Jeremy Hahn. Ape Sepian Dark and Terrible Volume 1, obviously by Mike McNola. Air Volume 1 by G. Willow Wilson. And we have Black Hammer Volume 7 Reborn Part 3 by Jeff Lemire. And we continue with Brilliant by Brian Michael Bendis. And Cover Volume 1 also by Brian Michael Bendis. And continuing with trades, Critical Role, The Tales of Exandria, The Bright Queen. This is written by Darcy Van Polgeis uh, with Matthew Mercer. We have Critical Role, Vox Machina Origins, Volume 3 by Jody Hauser. The EC Archives, Incredible Science Fiction, written by Jack Olick and Al um, Fieldston. The EC Archive Shock Suspense Stories, Volume 2, written by Bill Gaines, Al Fieldston, and, and more. We have uh, Frank Miller's Sin City, Volume 7, Helen Back. This is the fourth edition, uh, and obviously that's, that's by um, Frank Miller there. We have Halo Initiation and Escalation, written by Brian Reed, Duffy Boudrar, and Chris Schlerf. Move on to Hellboy and the BBRD, the return of Effie Kolb and others, Mike McNola. Also, Hellboy Weird Tales, stories on art by Mike McNola. Kings of Nowhere, Volume 1, written and illustrated by Surush Barazesh. And then on the bottom row, we have Last Fight Out, written by Mark Guggenheim. Then we have Maze by Tiago Soto. Uh, and The Panic, written by Neil Clay. Then we have Powers, Volume 1, by Brian Michael Bendis, Stephen McCrane's Space Boy, Volume 14, Stranger Things, Holiday Specials, Graphic Novel by Michael Morici, and uh, also by Chris Robertson and Keith Champagne. Uh, Teflon Funk, written by Stefan Mateer, and then Wiper, written by John Dunning. So many great titles this month. And we move on to DC Comics now. And to get us started with Omnibus is The Flash by Mark Wade, Volume 1. Then we have Grayson, the Super Spy Omnibus, the 22, uh, 2022 edition. This is Tom Kim. And Superman, the Golden Age Omnibus, Volume 7. This is various writers. And then Who's Who Omnibus, Volume 2, also with various uh, creators. And next up, we have Absolute, so Absolute Dark Knight's Metal, and we have the Absolute Multiversity by Grant Morrison as well. And then we have some uh, interesting other stuff. We have Fables, 20th anniversary box set. This is the, the Bill Willingham uh, epic collection now. And then we have Batman, The Court of Owls, The Mask and Book Set. This is coming back. This is a reprint. We had this before. And then Batman Black and White Box Set. And then uh, we're covering hardcovers here. So Batman Spawn, the classic collection by Frank Miller. 
uh, Batman Shadow War, Joshua Williamson, Justice League Volume 2, United Order, Superman, Son of Cal-El, Volume 2, The Rising by Tom Taylor. We have Tales of the Amazon by Michael Conrad, Wonder Girl, Homecoming by Joelle Jones, and Task Force C, Volume 1, Death's Door by Matthew Rosenberg. And we continue with uh, trade paperbacks, and we have Aquaman, Aquaman, Brandon Thomas. We have Arkham City, The Order of the World by Don Waters. Batgirls, Volume 1, one of my favorites of this year, by Becky Cloonan. Catwoman, Woman, Volume 1, Dangerous Lesson, Lessons, uh, Teeny Howard. Then we have, for, for young and audience, we have Diana and Nubia, Princesses of the Amazons by Shannon Hale. And this book has made, made a lot of noise this year. Uh, it's Flashpoint Beyond by Jeff Jones. All right, and then we have One Star Squadron by Mark Russell, The Other History of the DC Universe by John Ridley, Superman and the Authority, Grant Morrison, Wonder Woman Earth One Complete Collection by Grant Morrison, World of Krypton, Robert um, Venditti, and then we have Young Justice Book Six by Peter David. And we now move on to other publishers, uh, and we're going to get started with Archie, Giant Comics, Flash, and then we also have All Your Racial Problems Will Soon End by Charles Johnson, Big Man and the Little Man by Clifford Thompson, and then for from Art Spiegelman, we have uh, a reprint of Breakdowns, and we also have a pros and cons list for Strong Feelings, Will Becky Bruchwick, and then we have Rethink Gender by Louis Logger, and Shotgun Seamstress by Osa Atoll. Continuing on uh, for younger readers, we have Katie the Cat Sitter, More Cats, More Fun box set. This is books one and two uh, by Colleen A.F. Venable. We have Sweet Valley Twins, Best Friends uh, by Francine Pascal. And Cookie and Broccoli, Book of Secrets by Bob Mc McCone. And then we have Paul's by Paul's Mindy Makes Some Space by Nathan Fairburn. And of course, more more cats, definitely more fun. That's like a given. Um, yes. We continue with Carbodia 2. This is up, This Side Up by Richard Fergray and Lucy Campagnolo. Welcome to Feral by Mark Fearing. Hilda, the Trollberg stories. Luke Pearson, check out the, the animated series on Netflix. It's awesome. And also read the, the graphic novels, obviously. Mad About Meatloaf, Winnie featuring uh, Frank and Beans, book one by Maureen Fergus. And Super Family, Simon and Chester, book three by Kale Atkinson. And that's it for uh, the graphic novels and collected editions for the month of November. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I um, mentioned before, the publishers that we mentioned here are, are the ones that we represent. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact your sales rep. Uh, you can go to PRH comics.com for more details too uh, and i hope you like i said that you enjoyed it and um come back next month we'll have another one for you take care thank you